Good morning, Asteroid Fight Club. I just woke up to the news that the Hubble has revealed the new mega comet now in our solar system. It's about 80 miles wide, which is 50 times bigger than ever seen, say scientists. All right, that whole sentence structure seems crappy. But hey, if you love doom or projected doom, this story sounds interesting. I think it's Comet C 2014 UN 271, which means they found it in 2014 and they're telling us about it now. Let's watch the video together while I read it. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has determined the size of the largest icy comet nucleus. And remember, comets are like crazy, dirty cat snowball dragons that are made of fire. And it's big. With a diameter of approximately 80 miles across, it's 50 times larger than anything we've ever found before. Typical comets. Its 500 trillion ton mass is 100,000 times greater than the average comet. The challenge was distinguishing the solid nucleus from the huge dusty coma enveloping it. The comet is so far away that its nucleus is too small for Hubble to resolve. Instead, Hubble found a bright spike of light at the nucleus's location. Astronomers made a computer model of the surrounding coma and adjusted it to fit Hubble images. Then the glow of the comet was subtracted, leaving behind the star-like nucleus size, when it was estimated from its brightness. And behold, the comet is barreling this way at 22,000 miles an hour. But don't worry, it won't get any closer than roughly 1 billion miles away from the sun, slightly far farther out than that of Saturn. Hey, so if you're looking for doom, I don't worry, there's still a doom angle here. Comet C2014 UN271. We'll see it's coming through and will pass by the orbit of Uranus and Saturn. So yeah, it's not going to be that close to us at all. But do you remember the comet they told us about in 2017, which will be passing by Earth and our solar system in December of 2022? that was massively major and huge. I'm talking about Comet C-2017 K2 Panstars. Yeah, this definitely has a chance to put on a show and possibly be viewed through telescopes from Earth. But this comet is supposed to be bigger than Jupiter, although a comet has a nucleus and then a, a coma. And some other parts, I just woke up. And you know, it's weird to go from like decent dreams to waking up in 2022 okay and so yeah we got a lot of big bodies coming into our solar system this year and next year and you know 2022 we'll just keep on getting 2022 year and it seems like the solar system and the universe will continue to throw problematic situations at us human beings until either a we unite and put our minds together to solve all our problems or b we perish hey that may sound doomy, but it's the reason that I formed Asteroid Fight Club like nine years ago to prevent World War III and civilization from collapsing. So we will look into both of these stories together since it probably won't get too close to Earth in the near future. But it had to be a major size um, for them to be able to spot it so far away. Technically, it looks like they spotted it in 2014 because of the name. It's the Bernadina Nelly Bernstein, or is it Berenstein? Uh oh, we have a Berenstein comet. That can't be good. Here you see it's at 10 AU. AU means astronomical unit, pretty much the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And I mean, its closest approach, you know, still won't be to like 2030. Oh, so yeah, it's got to be a big sucker. Crazy days indeed, my friends. Crazy days indeed. But it doesn't look like it'll get closest to the lover come to us won't be for like 2030. But it is a sign probably we have big things coming in our solar system. So it's really big. It's traveling really fast. And it won't get anywhere near Earth. And it won't even be here to like the closest to us to like 2030. All right, cool. I'll continue to look into this story and I'll give you guys updates because that is what I do.
I hope everybody has a great day. And I do a fundraiser to keep the War News up and running every single month. I've only got $593 left to raise for April. If you'd like to contribute, you know how to do so because you are smart and awesome. All right, everybody have a great day. God bless you. Stay cool and have a great Easter.